All right, Paul, how important is this rule change to hockey? It's a significant step, and we're really excited at the opportunity to uh, take up the challenge and uh, move the agenda forward and making the game a safer place for youngsters to play. Obviously, this is an on-ice thing, but how does it affect the other areas, you know, the, the coaches, the officials, and such? Well, I think it starts out with an education piece, and our responsibility is to create the proper communication plan, the education plan for coaches, officials, and, and, and in particular parents. And really, I think we have uh, a lot of resources at our fingertips. We have an ability to uh, penetrate the marketplace with that, and, and I think I... I think oftentimes the, the material needs to percolate up into the ranks, and I think this gives us a level of awareness that people will be looking for it, demanding it, and as a result, it, it, it's you know, maybe a little easier to move it into the marketplace. What's the next step for Hockey Canada? Well, our next step is to you know, sit down and work with the various constituents uh, in terms of the educational plan, the officiating group, the coaching group, um, how we work through player development. I think we're pretty excited at that opportunity. And then from there, we start to strategize how we penetrate the marketplace with those materials and resources and how we work that communication plan.